we call the infundibulum. This is, let me get the other side, you can see it a little better. There's an act, we've got the pituitary gland. And you can see that infundibulum is that hypophyseal stalk connecting hypothalamus with the pituitary gland. Third ventricle. Now just uh, something to note, and you can see it's represented as these little red uh, structures here. This is uh, what we call the choroid plexus, which is modified epidymal cells, the neural glial cells that line the cavities inside the brain. We call it the ventricles. You have your two lateral ventricles, which are left and right, a midline third ventricle. We have a fourth ventricle. Now, within each of these ventricles, we have what's called a choroid plexus. The choroid plexus produces cerebral spinal fluid. Understand there's a brain, uh, blood brain barrier that is maintained mostly due to the other type of uh, neuroglial cells called astrocytes. And inside the ventricles, which is kind of like your uh, uh, epithelium of the body, well, it lines all of these ventricles, epidermal cells. But here in that choroid plexus, as you can see, this is where capillary beds are surrounded by these modified epidermal cells and produces cerebral spinal fluid. And we can see right here, there's a connective conduit, like an aqueduct. We call this the aqueduct of the midbrain, or aqueduct of the mesencephalon, going into the fourth ventricle, which is basically between the pons, which is anterior, and the cerebellum, which is posterior. Also to note, we can see here, Posterior to the pituitary gland and infundibulum, we have the mem mammary body right here. There's the pons. Medulla oblongata. Cerebellum. Let's look at it on, from the other direction. Cerebellum. Pons, medulla oblongata. On the medulla oblongata, you can see the pyramidal tracts, the pyramids. This is where a lot of left right crossover takes place in motor. And they say, raise your right hand. It comes from the left side of your brain and it crisscrosses. About 85 90 percent of that signal is crossing over motor. Remember, motors in the anterior, right here, those pyramidal tracks. And there we can see that little oval shaped body. We call it the, the olives of the medulla oblongata. Medulla compared to cortex. When you hear the word cortex, think of the outer part of an organ, medulla or medullary, the center, the core. Cerebral cortex, this is the outer gray matter in the brain, white matters on the inside. Just kind of reversed in the, uh, within the uh, spinal cord. The gray H, where the cell bodies are and the myelinated bodies like here the white matter is on the inside white matter in the uh, central nervous system CNS is due to the oligodendrocyte cells and of course the microglial cells are kind of clean up phagocytical cells uh, part of that neuroglial cell 
makeup. And right here we can see the central canal starting, which goes a little, a little wide here, but it narrows down to a very small hole going down into the spinal cord. We can see the, let me get the other half of the brain. As you can see, this uh, nice white matter arrangement here inside the cerebellum. Well, this is a midline structure of the cerebellum called the vermis. And it has been cut through in the Sagittal, mid sagittal plane to show what we call the arbor vitae like tree of life arbor vitae and a quick remembrance of cerebrum cerebellum the bells are down below. I like to remember ding dong ding dong. The bells are down below. Cerebellum. So anytime you see that bell within that word, think cerebellum. Like your fox cerebelli. Tentorum cerebelli. Compared to fox cerebri. This is a way of helping you remember. Now, just to finish up, get a nice visual. And I wish you all well, study well.